Okay, everybody, I'm here again, um, recording from my desktop here. Um, with my new computer, things go pretty fast. I just want to show you how to unpack, download, unpack, and install a livery. I don't know. I'm sure there's a zillion people out here that have already done that, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and wing it and try this. Go to flightsim.to, go to liveries, go to the airplane you want. I like the new category. We can do random or trending releases or recent updates. You'll find anything you need. But I'm really into the new Citation 10, like everybody, and get a whole plethora of beautiful designs. I mean, look at this. This looks really awesome. Um, pick one you want. Like, this one looks really pretty, but, oh, it's not compatible with 24, so skip that one. So then keep looking around. Uh, maybe I will, let's see, I don't know. I want to, uh, wheels up, maybe. Uh, I don't know, I'm just searching for a minute to see something cool that looks really neat. Uh, maybe this one. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, something like that might be okay. Nah, I'm not a fan of that one. And we continue on and look at something. This looks really simple and straightforward. Let's take a peek at this one. That looks pretty okay to me. So you're just going to go ahead and hit uh, download now. Boom. Start your download. There it goes. And it's there. And you're going to go... Oh, it comes up in your browser in case you don't know. Uh, livery, open file. Go to the little file folder like this. That's what you're going to do first. Then you're going to see it there in your downloads. You're going to take it. I usually hit Control X and cut it away. Cut it away and I go into a directory I have on my machine called uh, Flight Sim FS24 Utilities. Here we go. Right there. Dump it in. Control V Paste. And it's listed there. Then to unpack the livery, you simply right-click it through Windows and hit Extract All. When you hit ex Extract All, it's going to put it into its own folder right in your utility directory, if you like. Hit Extract. Bang. And there it is. There's the unpacked livery file. Two things. You can copy and paste it into Community or cut it and paste it. To save hard drive space, I cut it. So let's highlight it first. Control X. Cut. Get rid of those, go into my community directory over here for Flight Sim 24, hit Control V, paste, and there it is. It's in there with all my other liveries I have at the time. All right, I am going to go ahead and double click on my Flight Sim 24 starter and get Flight Sim 24 started. I will pause this video and be back in a second. Okay, everybody, we're back here. Uh, I'm, I'm such a neophyte, brand new at YouTube, I learned how to pause in between, so... Anyway, we've got Flight Sim 24 started again, just a few seconds later. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you how to do these liveries, so hit Start, uh, and go to uh, Free Flight, and pick the jet you want, Flight Sim, uh, I mean, the Citation 10, with the Winglets version, and we're going to go over to uh, Configure here, Configure... And let's try to find the new one I just downloaded. Well, that certainly looks like it right there, indeed. A little bit uglier than I wanted, but whatever. I was just doing a demo for you all. Um, when you hit livery, you'll see all the ones you downloaded. You can select any of the ones you want, actually. Some with winglets, some don't have winglets. Um, but anyway, uh, so that is the one I downloaded, so I'll go back. And we're going to put ourselves uh, at an airport, saving back. It's still there, hopefully. I, I don't think it should have changed. Go to Nantucket. You must go to Nantucket. No, you really don't have to. You can go anywhere you want. And get out of here. That's ridiculous. And where'd it go? Well, that didn't work too well. All right, let's pause this again. I've never even had a crash in flight sim. Ugh. Okay, everybody, I am back. Hopefully this works. I'm not sure what happened there. I've never actually had a crash to desktop in Flight Sim yet. Maybe I've gone too livery crazy. I may have to look into that. Anyway, here it is. Here's the new jet we just downloaded. And take a look on the outside. There she is, all beautiful, of course. I don't like that num N number on the back. I just want to get rid of that. Anyway, if you have a new livery to download, that's simple as that. Drop and place it in community and select it, and there you go. And just the other day, I mentioned in case you forget to do your fuel loads, you can actually do it through the little iPad gizmo and uh, do stuff like this. You can change your weight and balance and fuel right on the fly. I never knew this before. You can change this, 
seats, passenger, quick fuel, cargo, you can do all this stuff and load the airplane. It's a pretty cool feature. But anyway, there you go. Quick tip of the day, how to do liveries. Hope that worked for you guys who don't know that yet. Thanks very much. Have a great day.